My name is Mark Barry and I've uploaded a book of poems to Amazon's system which you can purchase as a download to your PC, your Mac, your smartphone, your tablet. Their system checks your computer or your laptop and if you don't have the previewer Kindle, the Kindle previewer software, it then downloads it to your toolbar for free. You simply double click the icon and it opens it up. This allows you to flick from page to page and extend the text left or right so you can view it better. The details are in the description field just below. The book's name is My Broken Heart, 75 Days in the NHS. And it covers a period between November 2012 and February 2013. I was in two separate British hospitals in the National Healthcare System, Whips Cross in Leytonstone and St Bart's in the City of London. This particular poem, which is 26 of 75, has a witty angle to it because it talks about sex in hospitals, or in my case, and in the case of men of my age, the lack of sex in hospitals. And I say this because when you're in there for any lengthy period of time, you're pain managed. And I'm talking about a huge number of drugs and stomach injections administered on a daily basis. But there are occasions when perhaps you could suggest that you might get a tad excited and there can be those awkward bulges protruding from now and then between the sheets, or lack of it as the case may be. I talked to this particular nurse who shall remain nameless about this one day and we had a good old laugh about it and it inspired this particular piece. Throughout the verses there are um, pseudonyms, if you like, for our John Thomas and the Pecker and the rest of it. I'll accentuate the words as I go along. This is called Meat and Two Veg and the subtitle is Battle of the Bulge and it'll become obvious as to why when you get to the end of it. This is Meat and Two Veg and I hope you enjoy it. There's a pointedly helpful advert on channel number five concerning impotency in your private place. Apparently I only need to spend me 300 quid and Percy becomes visible from outer space. I ask a nurse how she deals with them protruding bulges and she laughs at the randiness of guys. Discreetly advises with so many dick deflationary drugs, chemically that problem doesn't arise. So now I'm worried about my un unenthusiastic appendage, envying stiff bananas in ceramic bowls. Sat watching some god-awful hip-hop song featuring an annoyingly pert Beyonce Knowles. I reconnoitre my horizontally challenged Celtic stallion, see if the thing still has any kind of life. Be nice to give me Rambo something to look forward to, book some quality time with the wife. Or I might just devour a saucy read by Jackie Collins where some rock star shags a teeny bopper. More likely I'll be bare-assed on a freezing toilet seat with my baggy balls banging off the copper. I try to encourage Seamus with positive endorsement but he drops his head in humiliated disgrace. If I were a policeman, I'd cite him for Brewer's Droop, but he has that puppy dog look on his face. After this ordeal, I'll write to the Houses of Parliament and apply for incremental scrotum grants. Ethnic minority needs much encouragement and libido, member in shamrock-shaped underpants. I recently tried donating my schlong to British science, but they answered with a scantily clad reply. We've plenty of lurid tourist attractions in London, sir, and one of them won't be your Irish eye.